Hey y'all, it's Sharon with Hosting God's Presence. This is episode 16, Strength in God's Presence. It's Saturday, April the 22nd, one of our. Yesterday, we began talking about why God's presence was important or significant to our lives. The very first reason why we need to pursue God's presence and become a host of God's presence is because God's presence is God himself, Emmanuel, coming and dwelling with you. Not just around you, but with you. The presence of God helps us know him deeper and love him more. To become a companion with Elohim. Companionship has to do with fellowship and friendship. It has to do with mutual trust and support. And we find that companionship, the, what God desires for us in Genesis 1. When with Adam and Eve, when they were in the garden before they were uh, removed from the garden because of sin, it says that God would come down, the living God would come down every day and walk and talk with them. That's why we need God's presence. Today, our, our topic is we can find strength in God's presence. When we accept and experience God's presence, become host of God's presence, we receive his strength. This whole message today, this topic is not talking about our strength. What we can do on our own when we muster up strength. Now, this is talking about God's strength. First Chronicles 16, 11 says, Seek the Lord and his strength. Yearn for and seek his face and to be in his presence continually. That is our mission in these 50 days, to seek God's presence continually, to seek his strength. And verse 27 in that same passage of scripture says, splendor and majesty are in his presence. Strength and joy are where he is. Do you need strength today? Do you need some joy? Well, get in God's presence because that brings splendor and majesty, strength and joy. Psalms 105 verse 4 says, search for the Lord and his strength. Always seek his presence. Search for the Lord's strength. That's an interesting concept. When we're weak and we're weary and we feel feeble and we feel like there's no strength or no oomph to go on in our day, in our life. We need to search for the Lord and his strength. Psalm 62, 7 says, God's glory is all around me. His wraparound presence is all I need. For the Lord is my savior, my hero, my life giving strength. That's the Passion Translation. God's glory, his manifest presence. We're going to study that in a little bit later in this podcast, God's glory is equivalent to his presence. And it's all around. It wraps us. And it gives us life-giving strength. First, we need to understand that the word strength in Hebrew signifies a faculty or power, the ability to affect or produce something. You see, God's power God's strength is the ability to affect or produce things in our lives, in our children, in our circumstances, in our world, in the seven spheres of society. The word strength in Hebrew means to be strong, to prevail, to make firm, strengthen, to solidify. That is confirm 
establish. Notice that these scriptures refer to God's strength, not man's. And God's strength is found in his presence. The strength of God will bring deliverance into your life. See, God's active strength was displayed in his bringing the people of Israel safely out of the powerful captivity and enemy of the Egyptians. God wants to bring deliverance to you today as well. He wants to bring you out of places of captivity. That's where his strength in his presence comes in. God's strength brings support. It, 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 it brings supply, security. God's strength makes us strong. It enables us to withstand and prevail over the assaults of the enemy. We so often try to do this by our own strength. And we fail because our strength cannot prevail or withstand the assaults of the enemy. We need to call upon the strength of the Almighty, His presence. God's strength brings solidification. In other words, it makes us stronger. It reinforces us. It reinforces our strength. So when we're we're working in our strength and we find out that, hey, we can't keep going where our strength's about ready to give out, we call upon the strength of the Almighty And then he energizes our strength and solidifies us and makes us stronger and we can keep going. The strength of God brings confirmation to your life. It establishes things in your life. To establish something or confirm something means it makes it stable, makes it sure-footed. In our world today, when there's so much chaos and there's so much uncertainty in every arena of life, friends, we need God's presence like never before. And we need the strength that's found in God's presence to establish us and confirm us, make us stable and sure-footed. So no matter what goes on in our world in any given moment or any given day, ooh, we can call upon the presence of God and the strength of God and he'll be right there to strengthen and establish you. Within God's strength is power, influence, authority, and resources. Now, could you use some power? How about some influence? A new level of authority? Do you need some resources in your life? Well, they're found within God's strength. Power means the ability to accomplish things. Friends, We can accomplish some things on our own. This is true. But when we couple what we're desiring to do and seeking to do in our life, in our jobs, in our ministries, in our industry, with God's power, wow, no enemy will be able to withstand that. Everything that tries to rise up against us will have to bow its knee. God's strength is influence. There's a lot of influencers out there today, and many of them are influenced the world in in a corrupt, evil, perverse way. The people of God, hosting God's presence, walking in the manifest presence of God, can influence their world for good can release God's goodness, God's kindness, God's mercy, God's love, God's compassion, his favor, can help establish people in right standing with God, bring sons and daughters into the kingdom of God. That's how we're supposed to be influencing the world. But we need God's strength and God's presence to do that. Within God's strength is authority. Now, you might have some authority where you work in your life, in the ministry that you're a part of, 
with there again. Our authority can be quadrupled <laughs> with when we stand in God's presence and in his strength because it his his authority is the power of rule the power of one whose will and commands must be submitted to by others and obeyed you might have some people under you in a job in a situation they can refuse to obey they can refuse not to submit to your authority but when God's authority is released in the earth realm, his power causes people and things and situations to submit. God does not lord over people, nor are we to lord over people. We have authority according to Jesus' words in Luke. We have authority and power over all the power of the enemy. Authority and power over all the power of the enemy, not people, but over the plots, the plans, the schemes that the evil one is bringing into the earth realm. Within God's strength is resources. And resources means a stockpile, a supply of money, materials, staff, and other aspects assets that can be drawn upon okay do you need some money right now you got some things that need to be paid well you stand in God's presence you call upon his strength you can access his resources do you need some new staff for your business how about some assets they're found within God's presence within God's strength so God's strength brings deliverance, support, the ability to withstand. It reinforces our strength. It establishes us, makes us stable, firm-footed. And within God's strength is power, influence, authority, and resources. Let's take a moment right now and wait, inviting the presence of God to fill us with these things, to fill us with his strength. Come, Yahweh, manifest yourself as strength. Deliver us, support us, solidify us, confirm and strengthen us. Give us your power, your influence, your authority, and your resources for our life today. We wait on you. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Elohim, for your presence, for your strength in our lives. Our song today is by Katie Nicole, and it's entitled, In God's, In Jesus' Name, God of Possible. It is a powerful message of how when we release God's word, God's strength into situations, they have to bow and change. If you're listening to us on YouTube, you can find it on our worship list in the playlist tab. If you're listening to us on Spotify, it's within this episode. Take time to listen to it today. Let it strengthen you. Let it encourage you. Let it empower you. Receive God's strength. If you need to get a hold of us, our bio link is in the description. I bless you all. Until tomorrow, this is Sharon.